Well, there's a winter weather advisory up in the Sierra Nevada. That's certainly no surprise. We're expecting snow above 6,000 feet, a good two to eight inches, depending on where you are in the Sierra Nevada, with gusty winds to 40 miles per hour. So chilly up there. Good news for people who are looking for the snow and who want to ski. All of this is courtesy of this big storm. It is heading for San Francisco, the entire Bay Area. Widespread rain for us. Uh, I think by this evening, around the evening commute, we're going to see rain across much of the Bay Area. So it comes in this afternoon into the North Bay, inches down toward uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. So it's going to be wet. It'll be a wet commute. That means you're going to need maybe your umbrella. Maybe you're going to need a raincoat. Maybe you're going to need your lights when, uh, when, and then when the windshield wipers go. So that's good news. And we're seeing some snow up in Medford as well. So uh, then things change. We have a dry weekend after that. So the winds start to go offshore, which is going to keep things concerning for fire conditions because the rainfall from this storm, around half an inch or so, depending on where you are, about a third of an inch in Napa, about 2,800s in San Francisco, it's not enough to really diminish concerns about the fire season. It's also not enough to make a huge dent in the drought concerns, but at least in terms of temperatures today, mainly in the 60s. In the San Francisco, mainly 61 degrees, Marina District 60. And we're looking for numbers in the 60s along the coast, maybe El Granada at 59 degrees for high temperatures this afternoon. Numbers mainly in the 60s in the East Bay and North Bay and South Bay shoreline, 63, San Bruno, 62 for Burlingame. So not much fluctuation in temperatures, mainly in the 60s. We will see some increasing clouds this afternoon as the storm starts to head in our direction. So if you want some dry weather, San Jose at 70 this afternoon, fine until the rain comes in, then it gets very wet. 67 degrees in Livermore, 62 for Richmond, 67 Concord. As you see, no big changes between the inland areas and the coastal zones in terms of temperatures this afternoon. 64 for Santa Rosa. Stinson Beach, though, tops out at 59 degrees. Now, for the next seven days, well, it's going to be numbers in the 60s for the first couple of days of this week. And then for Election Day, mostly sunny and dry conditions. We have a warm up actually as we start to head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So it's a lovely seven day forecast. Find that umbrella. 